Good evening from Paris, where Wales have returned after beating Portugal in Nice and are now preparing for what is a huge clash in their pool against Eddie Jones' Australia, because Australia lost to Fiji on the weekend. It is now winner takes all on Sunday in Lyon. The pool has been blown open. Wales are top with 10 points. But if they were to lose, Wales would then be in a tricky position. If they were to win, Australia would go out and the pool stages of the World Cup for the first ever time, and Wales would be through to the quarterfinals. It's three into two. Australia, Wales, Fiji will take two places out of this pool. Wales are looking good. They have um, had players return to fitness, notably Tommy Raphael is on his way back, although he had a tight calf. Uh, Gareth Hanscom and also uh, Tolupe Faletau are also returning from injury. And we spoke to attack coach Alex King, who was in buoyant move at, mood at the camp earlier and said the tightness of this group could get them through on Sunday. They're a tight group. They're like, they're like a band of brothers, and they have been since we met up at the end of May. Um, we had a few more, you know, and, but even those guys contributed massively. We had a big squad of 48. Um, it's down now to the 33, but all those guys who, who aren't here, they contributed as well. Um, we had some incredible adventures in, in Switzerland and in Turkey, um, the three warm-up games. So guys have sort of have lived together for the last 16 weeks and we, you do rely on each other. You're away from your family, your friends, and um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough tournament, the World Cup. It's, it's fantastic. The fans make it what it is. Um, and, you know, we're two, two games down, two to go, and, and hopefully something after that. But, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're a great bunch to work with. Uh, good at telling a story, good at telling a joke. Um, and yeah, they're, they're a pleasure to work with. Wales wing Rio Dyer also spoke today. We didn't think he would start against Australia on Sunday, but Garrett, Warren Gatlin spoke very positively about his performance against Portugal. And now he's pushing for a starting place. And with the players coming back from injury, Dyer says competition for places is as strong as it's been for a long time. Yeah, obviously the competition is probably world class and I kind of enjoy that because it makes me push myself even, even further because you've got obviously You've got Lions players in there and that's aspirations you have as a kid and you can see what they do and how, how good they are and you can try and take things from their game and try and put it in your, um, my own. So I, I don't mind the competition, it's definitely good to have it in the squad. In the last few moments, South Africa have named their team to play Ireland here on Saturday. Ireland, the world's number one ranked team, taking on the world champions, the Springboks. And they've confirmed that Eben Etzebeth, their big, powerful lock, will return from injury. He went off in the win over Scotland. He missed their win over Romania. But Etzebeth is back in a side that is really, really powerful. They've gone with a 7-1 split on the bench. It's uh, called the Bomb Squad. Uh, seven forwards, one back. It's very, very unusual. Had never been done before. They did it at Twickenham in the build-up to this World Cup. And it means any team playing South Africa know they're going to bring on seven forwards to try and beat you up when you take them on. They are a formidable outfit, the box. We will see what Ireland have. It will be a real indication of whether Ireland are genuine contenders for this World Cup. They've never, ever won a World Cup. They've got a for, they've got form of being knocked out in the knockout stages. But obviously this, Farrell, um, this Andy Farrell side are very, very different. We will get a real idea of how good they are in Paris on Saturday. As for England, they've headed back to the 2K, their base at the very top of northern France to prepare for their game against Chile. We expect them to ring the changes and welcome back Captain Owen Farrell from suspension.